Uh, uh, as well. The only other time I used my sign language skills for a badge was when I was about, I think, 15 or 16, right? And what happened was my mum, uh, when I was growing up, my mum's brilliant, right? I said earlier, so she was born, uh, like, hearing, lost her hearing when she was 14 months old. She was one of the first five people to go into a mainstream school in Scotland. Uh, she's worked all this kind of stuff. She's done amazing things. Um, and I think it says a lot about my mum. Like, uh, I remember when I, I think I was 13, right? My mum had a tiny bit of hearing, right? a tiny bit. And um, every morning she put her hearing aid on. There was a big one back in there. And then she would say, hello, hello. And that's when she here. And I remember one time I was going to, I think I was asking for lunch money or something like that. And I heard her say, hello, hello. And I knew she'd lost all her hearing because she just started crying, right? And that was it. So it was all gone. And I think it says a lot about my mum and the kind of like a uh, role model I had when I was growing up that my mum went to work as normal that day, just carried on, even though that was probably the biggest thing I can imagine happening, but she just carried on. And I think that's kind of what made me who I am. And I'm really proud of her, right? Um, and she was a social worker when I was like 15, 16, all that kind of stuff. And she would have to go in away in emergencies quite a lot. So she would go away um, at short notice, so she might miss like birthdays or like family meals. And there's one time, it was when I was in fourth year, so I think that's year 11, uh, for you guys, uh, I was in school and it was my parents' night. And my mum had to go in away in an emergency, so they had to find a sign language interpreter for my dad at short notice, two hours notice. I don't know if you ever tried to book a sign language interpreter at two hours notice, it's impossible. <laughs> Long story short, they asked me to go along and interpret my own parents' night. Um, <laughs> and it was fucking amazing. <laughs> and we're sitting in school. We're sitting in the classroom, right? The first one was history. Finished. Done. Next one, English. Fine. Done. Third one is the one I was worried about. Maths. That was my worst subject at school, maths. So bad, right? And we go into the classroom, and I've thought about this, right? I've planned, right? So we sit down. I'm sitting here. Uh, the teacher is here, and my dad is sitting opposite here, so he can see me sign, right? And I explained to the teacher what's going to happen. I said, I'll be signing, okay? And I thought she might go easy on me. She, no. <laughs> she starts straight away. She's like, he talks too much. He's cheeky. He answers back. He doesn't do his homework. All this kind of stuff, right? And I'm signing at the same time, and I'm signing, he's brilliant. <laughs> he's fantastic. You should be really, really proud. <laughs> And then she kept speaking, and I hadn't practiced enough signing, right? Because I didn't realise she was going to go on, and I panicked. I went, um, I love him. And I was like, <laughs> we look creepy. But, uh... <laughs> and then my dad asked a question about exams, and I voiced that over. She answered back, and I signed back to my dad, and then they shook hands. And I was like, thank fuck. Man. We walked out the classroom, walked out, walked down the corridor. We are walking down, and my dad just nudged me, right? Dad nudged me, and I turned around, and my dad signed to me. He just went... You know I can lip read yeah. too. <laughs> and I was like... No, no I did not, Dave. Um, we heads up about 10 minutes ago, it would have been nice to be honest. Uh...